Hey parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back to school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. Osmo's reading adventure, Learn to Read Game is an interactive tool for kids five to seven that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals. Because it's never too early to fall in love with reading. Visit playosmo.com to check out the reading adventure new reader kit today. That's playosmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Hello, friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. I need to make sure that you have smashed the follow uh, button. You know that follow button? It kind of looks like a plus sign, or it might say follow, or something like that, so you don't miss out on any of our <laughs> awesome stories every single day. Well, today's story comes to us from River. Hey, River, I cannot wait for this amazing adventure into outer space. Are you guys ready for today's story? Me too, let's go! (sighs) River was just waking up and rolling out of bed. What seemed like a normal kind of day would end up being a very unusual one. Well, you see, River was actually used to unusual days because... He was an astronaut. Yes, he was on the space squad, and so it was his job to zoom around and make sure that everything in space was nice and safe. He ran downstairs and grabbed a big bowl of cereal and gobbled it up. That was his favorite breakfast. Do you have a favorite breakfast that you love to eat every morning? Or maybe you like different breakfasts and switch it up. Well... Whatever it is, make sure it has lots of good energy. Because we all need good energy, and especially River, who's about to blast off to space. You see, every Thursday is when River would blast off to space. Thursdays, that was his day to protect outer space. And then it was other kids' jobs different days of the week. But River's day was Thursday. He loved exploring all kinds of different parts of outer space, traveling to the planets, stars, and moons. There was so much out there to explore. But like I said, today was a very unusual day. As he entered space headquarters, and that's, you know, where all the astronauts get on all their uniforms and prepare for blastoff. He took one step inside and was met with some emergency instructions. River, here, we need you to go to these coordinates on a far moon. We've observed some movement, very unusual movement. We need you to check it out. Oh, absolutely. I'll get right on it, said River. He raced over to the changing room to put on all of his astronaut gear. That meant boots and pants and jackets and helmets and gloves and the whole thing and even an oxygen tank as he tested the oxygen ah, it tasted and breathed like really clean air ah that's some fancy air for astronauts (laughs) the oxygen that they have to breathe yeah because oxygen what we need to breathe is not found in space so that's a really important thing if you ever want to be an astronaut you have to make sure that you have your oxygen tank with you at all times. Three, two, one. The rocket that River was sitting in had blasted off to space. River always loved that part of the blast off on the rocket. As he was thrown back into his chair because it was going so fast. It even made his face make some silly faces. Can you make a really silly face like you're blasting off to space? Like your lips and your mouth are pulled back and your cheeks are almost touching your ears. (laughs) Those are some amazing space launch faces, but... You should have seen River's face. (laughs) Even though he was screaming, he loved it. And pretty soon, he found himself floating through space. His rocket ship 
thankfully knew exactly where to go because they had put in the coordinates of the location of this strange activity appearing on one of, I think it was Jupiter's moon. Well, one of them at least. Yeah, Jupiter has <laughs> has a lot of moons. How many moons does our planet Earth have? And just one, right? Yes, just one moon, but Jupiter has more than one. Do you know how many moons Jupiter has? 79 moons! <laughs> Holy smokes, that is a lot of moons. Uh, but there was one in particular that... Uh, that's where River was headed to figure out what in the world was going on on that little moon off of the planet Jupiter. It took a very long time <laughs> to arrive, but thankfully his spaceship was very, very fast. So instead of it taking years and years and years, it just took a couple hours, which I would take a couple hours over years of traveling, right? Yeah, a couple hours, I, I could do that. As a spaceship carefully landed down on the moon, River grabbed a flashlight and opened the door and started to search around. It was a very strange looking place. Uh, the dirt was all gray. It looked like everything was in black and white. River had been on many moons before, so he was used to looking at this because most moons look the same. River didn't know exactly what he was looking for because they didn't give him very in specific instructions. Only that uh, they saw some movement or something happening on the moon. What do you think it could be? Do you think it's like an alien or, or was it just, uh, you know, some dirt being blown around in the wind? Do they have wind on the moons? I'm not sure. Well, as River kept exploring, he saw something. Oh! <gasps> What is that? He shouted. It had all kinds of tentacles and eyeballs and it was moving. Alien! Shouted River. His dream had come true, except his dream was a little scary, exciting, and, ex and a lot of things. He didn't know what to feel, excited or scared. What would you feel? If you saw a real alien, what would, <laughs> would that be scary or exciting? Well, either way, it was an alien moving in slow motion. <laughs> River walked over to it and said, Hello, are you, uh, are you okay? Why are you moving in slow motion? Well, I am low on battery. And he just stopped. River stood there in front of what looked like a completely frozen alien. Did he say he was low on battery? Said River. He bent down and kind of turned his head to the side and saw something that looked like a charging port, like for a cable or something. He ran back to his spaceship and grabbed one of the cables that had a solar power charger connected to it. He attached it onto the alien and instantly... <laughs> Beep. Hey, I... Thank you so much. Oh, I was running low on battery, but... Oh, are these solar powers? This is... A, oh, thank you so much. What's your name? River was uh, a little confused. Uh, hi, <laughs> my name's River. W what's your name? You can call me Charlie. Charlie went on to... Tell River everything about alien life, which was amazing to learn about. River had always wanted to meet an alien, and thankfully he met a nice alien. I don't know if all of them are nice or not, but Charlie, he was a nice tentacled alien. And that day, River not only helped recharge Charlie, which I didn't know aliens needed charging. <laughs> That's kind of silly. But River saved Charlie and also learned all about aliens. And so on his trip back to planet Earth, he was very excited to share everything he had learned with his entire space crew. This may be the end of our story, but I think it's just the beginning of River's amazing space adventures. The end. Hey parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back to school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. 
Osmo's Reading Adventure Learn to Read Game is an interactive tool aimed at children ages 5 to 7 that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals, turning them into young, confident, skilled readers, because it's never too early to fall in love with reading. Watching our youngest play with Reading Adventure this summer, I can see how much more ready he is for when kindergarten is starting very, very soon. Visit PlayOsmo.com to check out the Reading Adventure new reader kit today. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Visit PlayOsmo.com to check out the Reading Adventure new reader kit today. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Creek from Maryland, Nora from Nova Scotia, Haven from Denver, Colorado, Ellie and Levi from Alberta, Aurora from Austin, Texas, Kieran and Ravi from Indianapolis, Ryan from Cleveland, and Sid and Ollie from Illinois. I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family. And on our spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Will you have a super duper day? And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Hey, parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back-to-school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. Osmo's reading adventure, Learn to Read Game, is an interactive tool for kids 5 to 7 that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals. Because it's never too early to fall in love with reading, visit PlayOsmo.com to check out the reading adventure new reader kit today. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo. Learning well played. Hey parents, we all know that feeling of heading back to school, right? That exciting time for new pencils and fresh starts. But what about fresh lunch ideas? Boar's Head has been going back to school for over 115 years. So they know all about packing the perfect lunchbox with uncompromising quality and all-time family favorites like ever-roast, oven-roasted chicken breast, maple glazed honey coat ham and american cheese boar's head makes packing lunch easy and delicious look for boar's head at your local deli counter and learn more at boarshead.com slash back to school boar's head compromise elsewhere